During the 1920s and 1930s, Lo Kui Song was a member of the Garden Club, the most influential of all Chinese clubs, during that time. Its membership included, nearly every prominent Chinese in Singapore. He was socializing with the likes of Sir Song Ong Siang, Dr. Lim Boon King, G. H. Kiat, Xia Liang Xia, Lim Ni Soon, Song Ong Ju, and many others. Around 1929, Lo Kui Song painted a portrait of Dr. Sun Yat-sen, dressed in his first presidential uniform, with full decorations. This same portrait was later reproduced as color prints by printers in Europe in 1930. In 1935, Lo Kui Song painted, the life-size portrait of, Chun Kung Sui, one of the pioneers of the rubber industry in Malaya, and well known for his many charitable acts, and services, towards the welfare of Malacca, and its population. The portrait was paid for, out of the funds, contributed by well-wishers, and the traders, and planters, of all nationalities of Malacca, as well as, from other countries. The large oil portrait, was unveiled by His Excellency, the Governor, Sir Shenton Thomas, at the Stead House, Red Square, Malacca, in 1935. Lo Kui Song was given a testimonial letter, for this painting, by Tan Su Hock, J.P., a municipal commissioner of Malacca, from 1910 to 1932, and nephew of Tun Jiak Kim, a former municipal commissioner of Singapore Municipal Board, from 1888 to 1897. Sad to say, that the portrait of Chun Kung Sui, was destroyed during World War II, when the Japanese troops attacked Malaya. In 1938, Lo Kui Song, was commissioned to paint, the portrait of Tan Beng Sui, father of Tan Jiak Kim. The artist was paid $800, as a token of appreciation, for the portrait which, he worked from another portrait of Tan Beng Sui. In 1982, by a stroke of fate, Lo Kui Song, was reunited with this painting of Tun Beng Sui. It was found abandoned in Tun Kim Seng House, together with a portrait of Tun Beng Sui's son, Tun Jiak Kim, that was painted by Sia Punting. At that time, the property was about to make way, for a condominium project, off River Valley Road. Both paintings were handed over, to the National Museum, on 3rd of March 1982, by Riverview Development in a simple ceremony attended by Lo Kui Song. In 1936, Lo Kui Song saw a vision of Jesus, and was converted to Christianity. He became a lay preacher, speaking mainly in Malay, at both Pile Bar, and, Geelong Methodist churches. Lo Kui Song, was also instrumental, in reviving the church service in Malay, at the Malacca Straits Chinese Methodist Church, in February 1939, after some 30 years. Lo Kui Song became a zealous preacher, in the 1940s till he retired. He painted the Lady of Perpetual Succor with Baby Jesus, for St. Peter's Church in Malacca. In 1966, Lo Kui Song painted Jesus on the cross which is now displayed in the Malacca Chinese Methodist Church. Lo Kui Song also painted portraits of Methodist bishops and pastors. In 1972, at the age of 83, Lo Kui Song painted a portrait of, Jesus praying in Gethsemane. Even as a lay preacher, Lo Kui Song was still actively, painting and writing plays, 